Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Your Allah's Chosen One Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Wa salatu wa salam Ala Rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi Wa min tabi'ahum bi ihsani Ila yawm al-deen wa ba'd Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Imam Kashif Ahmed recording for the Prophet's path Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders the believers in the Qur'an وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ That O believers return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Submit to Allah azza wa jal Indeed, a human being in this life goes through many phases Sometimes he is obeying the commands of Allah and many of times he is disobeying the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The scholars have mentioned it is not the sin that you commit. It's actually the repentance that you leave after committing the sin. Because in the hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said If you were not to commit sin Allah will take you away And bring those who do commit sin But then after they Repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So indeed Allah azza wa jal Loves a person who returns to Allah Who has the conscience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And at the same time When something happens wrong In his or in her life And they go and they disobey The commands of Allah azza wa jal they bring this remorse in their life that indeed they have done something wrong, admit to their mistake, and this is the action which is really loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned in many a hadith the virtue of repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In one of the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Nadimu Tawbatun, even having the remorse of committing a sin that is also a person is asking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When actions do commit, the actions that we do commit in our life, sometimes they are done knowingly and sometimes they are done, we don't, not having the awareness of that action. But the reality is, my dear respected brothers and sisters, that we understand the fact that we have done something wrong and we connect ourselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this action is very loved by Allah Azza wa Jal that when a person commits a sin and then he remembers and he thinks that whatever he or she has done is very wrong and they connect themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is so merciful that if a person was to commit sins and he fills the the um, emptiness between the heavens and the earth with his or with her sins and then they go and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah azza wa jal says that I will forgive all of their sins and I will not have any account for that action that they have committed this is why in one of the hadiths Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said At-ta'ibu min al-dhambi kaman la dhambalahu the person who asks forgiveness from Allah azza wa jal after committing a sin and after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts his or her forgiveness, is be, he becomes like that individual that as if they have never committed that sin. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the ability to repent and give us the ability to connect ourselves with Allah. And Allah waits for every individual, the person who has the fear of Allah in his or her heart, and they really want to get their sins Forgiven in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is there, Allah is waiting for us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His mercy is waiting to shower upon us, the delay is from our part, may Allah azza wa jal give us that ability that we can take the mercy of Allah, and may Allah give us the ability to connect ourselves and return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullahu khayran, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.